nice. There's like no traffic. Welcome back to another vlog. It's currently Saturday morning. It's a chilly, gloomy day. And I am headed to the salon. I was supposed to have a color client this morning, but she canceled earlier this week. And at the time I was like a little bit bummed out about it, but honestly today I'm so grateful because I'm just really not in the mood. But I am doing two of my coworkers hair. So that's why I was like, I'm not even gonna bother like putting on makeup and trying to look nice because they're my coworkers. I don't need to impress them. But the one coworker whose hair I'm doing is our massage therapist. So we are doing a trade. She's gonna give me a massage later. I think I might just be giving her a blowout. And then my second coworker is just getting a trim. But I'm really looking forward to this massage. I've just been having one of those weeks where I've just felt very blah and gross. I feel like this always happens when I get my period. <laughs> Cause like I just physically feel disgusting, you know? Like I just feel all bloated and my skin is like not its best. Like I got a pimple and you know, I just feel meh. And like my lashes uh, really need to be filled. So just in general, I like haven't been feeling the best. I've been having like really bad body image because I'm like so bloated and I just physically feel so like uncomfortable and heavy. So I'm trying to just do some self-care things to pull me out of that funk and get back to feeling like myself. look even crazier than I did. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this hair. See, this is why I don't wear my hair natural that often because it just gets wild. If I had just blown it out, it would look totally fine right now. That was a good day. It was nice and easy and the massage was amazing. That woman is a miracle worker. I've been having a lot of muscle pain around my knee, my right knee. Ever since I started lifting again, <laughs> the first few weeks I was doing it, I was not good about warming up and stretching. And yeah, my knee has just been pretty swollen and really tight and it would hurt to bend it past a certain point. I've been sleeping with it elevated, drinking a ton of water, stretching it, using resistance bands, all that kind of good stuff for it. And then her just getting really into the muscle and giving everything a deep massage, I feel is also going to help a lot. It already feels so much better. So I'm gonna be better about stretching and warming up and taking my time because obviously I don't want to cause any injuries. So yeah, lesson learned. I feel so relaxed and zen now. So I am just going to head home. Okay, this vlog took a little bit of a turn. I was planning on coming home and like doing some self-care things, but I got home and I was so exhausted. I don't know if it was the after effects of the massage or what, but I ended up taking a nap and then I just put a little clay mask on that pimple that I had because it was starting to hurt and just look disgusting. So hopefully that'll suck everything out and it'll be nice and flat by the morning. And I am heating up some chicken soup that I made a few nights ago. Oh, and after I woke up from my nap, I was starting to feel a little bit weird. Like my throat was kind of feeling a little sore. So I took a whole bunch of vitamin C, drank a bunch of water. I'm feeling okay now, so I'm hoping if I have the soup and just keep drinking a bunch of water, maybe I'll make some hot tea also. And um, I'm just gonna watch movies and relax the rest of the night. It's 7.30 on a Saturday. Love that for me, but I'll see you in the morning and we'll do some more mood boosting stuff then. Hello, it's the next morning. My hair is still looking crazy. <laughs> the saga continues. 
we're gonna get it together today. My whole process is feel better physically, because like I said, I was feeling so bloated and swollen from it being that time of the month. And then I had that annoying like muscle pain in my legs. So we got that sorted out yesterday. I'm feeling so much better. My period is now done and I'm feeling just less bloated all around. Next thing I wanna do is go to the gym. I'm gonna make sure I do like a nice long warm up and stretch and everything before I actually start. I do my lifting first and then I usually will do like 20 to 30 minutes of incline walking on the treadmill afterwards just to get like a little bit of cardio in and then I can come back here shower and finally do something about this hair and further pull myself out of the funk it's finally time to take a shower and wash this hair A shower always makes me instantly feel 10 times better. And it was one of those nice long showers where I shaved, exfoliated, about to get some good scents going in here. There's nothing better than having a clean apartment and then lighting some candles, cracking the window, getting some fresh air. This one I've been obsessed with lately and I've already burned it. I wanna say this is like probably at least the fourth or fifth time and like, look how much is still left. It's really powerful, but it doesn't burn super fast. This candle is from Dossier. They are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I'm always raving about Dossier and using their perfumes literally on a daily basis. They make dupes for designer fragrances and they also now make candles in some of those same fragrances. This one smells amazing it just smells like a sexy man but i will show you my dossier collection i have a lot of fragrances from them now and some of my favorites are the ambery saffron powdery hawthorn and floral berries this one i actually used as a white elephant gift for my salon's christmas party and people were literally fighting over this because it smells so good dossier's fragrances start at 29 dollars, and they're just as high quality and smell exactly the same as the designer fragrances that they're inspired by but for a fraction of the price and yeah i'm super excited that they have candles now because i am also a really big candle person if you want to try out dossier for your I do have a discount code and we'll have the link and that code everything you need to know in the description So go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much dossier for continuing to work with me They have been a very loyal sponsor to this channel and I really appreciate it because Nowadays sponsorships are just necessary Sorry, my dishwasher is running. Anyway, I am going to lotion up now because that's another thing that will make me feel so blah and like gross is ashy skin so i always use the palmer's cocoa butter i get the big value size bottle at target or walmart and i just put this all over my body i'm gonna be honest when i was getting my massage yesterday i was like ooh, my toes are looking rough feet are rough legs are hairy and dry and i just was not you know feeling my best another thing that's part of my regular everyday routine after i get out of the shower is this pfb it's a post waxing and shaving serum you just roll it on and it's just basically like a light chemical exfoliator and it helps to prevent ingrown hairs which i tend to get so i put this on my bikini area i use this a few times a week and then i will like manually exfoliate and it's amazing and so satisfying if there are any ingrown hairs that are starting to form they just like pop right out but, like why is that stuff so satisfying picking out ingrown hairs like popping pimples and stuff it's so gross but it's so satisfying next i want to do a face mask because i showed you guys this breakout that i got it did pop this morning like after i rubbed off that clay mask 
it really sucked everything out which is nice so it's pretty flat now at this point but it's still like really red and inflamed so i'm going to put on the origins original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay i like this one because i feel like if i have any impurities in my face it kind of like sucks everything out but it also like calms my face at the same time it feels kind of cold when you first put it on which feels nice face masks are another thing that are just like such a little simple pick me up but i swear whenever i'm feeling like blah and gross doing a face mask always makes me feel better like literally take a shower light a candle put on a face mask or light a candle put on a face mask and take a bath and i like to bring it down like under my jaw too because sometimes i get a little like congestion under there so that's gonna sit on for a few minutes next i i'm gonna give myself a little pedicure well sort of not like an actual pedicure i guess i just need to cut and repaint my toenails it's bad so we're not gonna do anything fancy i'm just gonna use some acetone to take off the remainder of the little bit of polish i have left and some nail clippers um and i guess a nail file make sure they're nice and smooth and i don't have too many nail polishes left these days because i normally go and get my nails done i think that'll be good this is a nice nude my vampire is buff it's like a white nude these are all the nail polishes that i have these ones are all gel and i don't have my gel machine here i left it at my parents house and i don't feel like bothering doing gel right now anyway um but so these are like all the regular colors so i just have a lot of like bright neons or like darker colors so yeah i'm feeling a lighter color and i have this essie top coat i'm really bad at doing my own nails but i just don't really feel like spending the money to go get a pedicure right now and i feel like it'll be kind of therapeutic and relaxing to just do it myself and i'm gonna watch a video while i do that i've been watching the show the last of us on hbo amazing fantastic love it and it's based on a video game and years ago when the game first came out i remember watching pewdiepie do like a playthrough of it but i had never finished watching the full game play like all the way through so now that i'm watching the show i'm like okay well i want to see what happens in the game so that i can compare it to the show like what things are similar what things are they changing and also i just kind of want to know like what's coming next so i started watching pewdiepie playing the game again from the beginning this game it is kind of like a movie at the same time because there's a lot of these like cut scenes and Oh, it's just an interesting story. Comment down below. Let me know if you're also watching The Last of Us. I am going to continue watching this while I do my toenails. Also, I'm going to put on some clothes uh, so that I don't flash you. Hi. I, I am so lost. Not good, but certainly a lot better than they were so now i'm gonna dye my eyebrows i do this like once a month or so i feel like right now i just kind of need a little bit of a touch up because they are still kind of dark towards the inner part but the tails especially on this side is looking pretty light and i always know that it's time to touch them up when i am spending more time filling them in when i do my makeup so i just eyeball it and i try to get equal parts hair color with equal parts 10 volume developer and this is just regular hair color that i would use on my the hair on my head this is four stroke seven one from wella it's just like a dark chocolate brown she was like we need his car so she said that her son i don't know what he's going to school to be but i think probably a doctor they're all studying to be doctors okay sorry i took a little break um but here's how the brows came out see how they're just darker and like more filled in in the tail this eyebrow is naturally fuller than this one which is kind of annoying but whatever it is what it is but i got sushi delivered it was 
so good. I had been craving sushi so bad. And I like to treat myself every once in a while, like a couple times a month, and get delivery. And I actually had a free trial of Uber One. So you get like free delivery and like reduced service fees and all that kind of stuff. And the trial is going to be up in like two weeks. So I was like, you know what? Let me take advantage of it and get some delivery while I still have that free trial. And now I'm about to blow dry my hair, but of course I'm like, I feel like my hair air dried so cute. Like these curls look cute and a little more tame, but I wanna blow it out. It's just easier to deal with when it's smooth because it just doesn't get as tangled and as frizzy and crazy. Yes, I, I have to put some heat on it to blow it out, but then it's good for like the whole rest of the week. This is my Dyson Supersonic Professional Blow Dryer. I love this thing. And by the way, I did get that Amazon dupe. Um, and I'm in the process of doing an in-depth review on it. I've used it twice so far. That video will be coming next. It's either gonna be the one right after this vlog or like in two videos from now. So stay tuned for that. I don't want to give anything away because I want you to just like be able to see that video and see it for yourself. But all I'm going to say is if you were thinking about getting that one, wait till you see my video first. I'm putting this Lanza Healing Oil Bounce Up Spray in my hair. This is just like a blow dry spray. Um, gives heat protection. And then I'm gonna put some of this Lanza Root Effects Mousse. You spray this at your root. I just put a little bit. I really like this stuff, but I find that if you go a little too crazy with it, it just feels like too much. And it almost makes your hair feel kind of dirty. Let's blow dry this real quick. feels so much better. Now I'm just gonna put some dry shampoo in it. I always do that, that's my little secret to making my style last longer and not letting my hair get greasy as quickly as I put dry shampoo in my hair when it's clean, freshly washed. I just lift my hair up and I spray it like just below the root like I'm not aiming for my scalp and I don't spray it like directly on my part that way if I accidentally apply a little bit too much I don't have to worry about a white cast but I like this one this is the not your mother's beach babe texturizing dry shampoo um, I'll even spray this like throughout the ends of my hair sometimes especially if I'm like adding waves to it or something to give it a little bit of texture and grit and whether you prefer the look of my curly hair or not it just it feels nicer on my head to just have it blown out straight i know sometimes when people see me blow out my hair in my videos i'll like get hated on <laughs> like no leave the curls good morning oh i'm so excited to go get my lashes filled today. My appointment's in like an hour. Um, <laughs> this eye is like really, really bad. This one's not so terrible. So that's my first appointment of the day. And then I am going for a laser treatment, which I'm excited about, like starting this process. But I'm also nervous, not really nervous, like, I can handle pain pretty well, but like I know this is gonna be uncomfortable physically, so not really looking forward to that. But I've mentioned before that I got a boob job two and a half years ago. I got a breast lift 
on one side and then I got an augmentation, but I got keloid scars. And I did everything, like I used all the scar cream, I followed all the aftercare instructions, I've been using like the silicone sticky things that they say to put on your scars. I cocoa butter every single day and nothing is helping. There's a client at the salon where I work that is a PA and she owns her own practice and she does like Botox and injections and stuff like that and she also has this laser. I forget what it's called. I'll give you more information later when we get there. But I was talking to her about, you know, my concerns. I showed her my scars and she said that this laser treatment that she does would be perfect for it. It's not gonna be like an instant overnight thing. It's gonna take, you know, over the span of a few months. I'm just excited to like start this process finally. I'm not gonna bother putting on any makeup. I just put on a little sunscreen. Since I'm getting my lashes done, she needs to like clean my eye area anyway. So no sense in putting anything on my face because it's just gonna get messed up. Um, I'm just gonna get dressed take Benny out for a walk real quick and then head to my lash appointment. Oh, and then I'm gonna have like a gap of time between appointments. So I think I'm gonna pop into Sephora cause I want some more Rare Beauty liquid blush. Um, and I just wanna like take a look around also and just, I don't know. I haven't like gone makeup shopping in a while. Okay, here is the outfit for today. This crop top is from H&M. These pants I got from Aerie. I don't think they're still available. I tried finding them on the website. I had got them in store in the clearance section and I think they were like one of the last pairs left. They're just kind of like a wide leg sweatpants. They have some distressing on them, but I just, they're so flattering. I love them. And then I'm wearing my New Balance sneakers. This bag is from H&M men's section. And then these sunglasses, I got these on Amazon. I do really like them though, cause they're comfortable and they're polarized. So they really do a good job. Like I have some sunglasses that they're just for looks really, but they don't do much for blocking out the sun, but these actually really do something for me. So yeah, I like them. I know some people are gonna hate them and think that they're so hideous and stupid. Here's the lashes after. So much better. And now we are at Kohl's right across the street. We don't have a standalone Sephora here, unfortunately, but we have a Sephora in JCPenney and then Sephora in Kohl's, which this one's actually pretty decent. So let's go in and see what we can find. I stopped at Trader Joe's on my way home. So let me just show you while I put the stuff away. I'll just show you everything I got. Um, I got this mushroom and black truffle flatbread with mozzarella cheese. It sounded intriguing. Although now watching The Last of Us, mushrooms freak me out. Then I got some salmon chicken sausage and ground turkey. I got some Brussels sprouts, which I am obsessed with. I just, I love roasted Brussels sprouts so much. I could literally eat them every single day. And then I got green beans. I also got, this was kind of an impulse thing. I just thought some roasted potatoes sounded really good. Like even for breakfast, like, you know, on the side with some eggs or something. And then I got some more protein powder. I got this other one recently and I hate it. <laughs> it's just way too sweet. And it, there's zero grams of sugar. It's just like, there's an artificial sweetener, I guess, in it. And it's just way too much. Like I, mm -mm. I do not like it at all whatsoever. But this one, 
I love. It's really good, but it's not super sweet. If there's a protein powder that you take that you like, comment down below, let me know what it is. As long as it's not something that's like super sweet or has like a really strong artificial taste because ugh, I hate that. And I am not really a chocolate person, so I prefer vanilla flavor. So let me know. And then I got these cookies. I've had these before, I'm pretty sure. The dark chocolate chunk and almond cookies. I always have to have something sweet around just in case I get that craving. So Sephora, I mainly was just interested in getting another Rare Beauty liquid blush. They were completely sold out of everything. They didn't even have like testers left, but Everyone has been raving about this Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. My one coworker uses this and loves it. Her skin always looks amazing. And they barely had any of these left. What's nice is like this is kind of more sheer because it's skin tint. So you don't have to be like too, too precise with the color match. It has broad spectrum SPF 40 sunscreen, niacinamide, squalene and hyaluronic acid. So it's hydrating with natural protection. I always put skincare on my face no matter what. I always put on SPF. So if I can have something that has a little bit of a tint that will kind of even out my skin tone on like a light makeup or no makeup kind of day, why not, right? Although everybody keeps saying that the smell is really weird and gross, which I agree, it does have a very gross smell at first. But supposedly once it's on your face, you don't smell it anymore. I think I'm just going to apply it with my hands. Let me give it a good shake first. And I got the shade 11.5. So it has like a squeezer, dropper, kind of applicator. Oh, this is thicker. Oh God, yeah, that smells really bad. Ew. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this is, I was expecting it to be like way more sheer and like liquidy. And I do feel like that's a really good shade match. They were completely out. This was literally the only one left in this shade and the only one left in like the medium range. All that they had otherwise were really dark shades or really, really light. So this was my only option anyway, but I do feel like it's a good match. But I really like that a lot. Okay. And I like that I can just rub it in with my hands because I feel like I'm wasting less product that way. Let me show you a natural light. I would say it's like a natural, like satiny kind of finish. Like, you obviously can see my skin through it, but you see how, like, I have these little red, like, old breakouts. And obviously you can still see them, but it definitely blurred them. And you can't see as much of the redness compared to before. I probably could add a second layer if I wanted to, like, build it up just a tiny bit more. And it would be really pretty for just, like, a light natural makeup. Or I could just do the one layer like this and literally just leave the house like this and it wouldn't look weird without putting on like bronzer and blush and like other stuff, you know? I could wear it just by itself. Just to like even out my skin tone a little bit. And then obviously get like the SPF benefits and whatnot. Ooh, and it like, what a, a good match, right? You can't even tell. Honestly, I was not expecting to like it this much, wow. I thought it was going to feel kind of greasy on my face and I was going to be like, eh, not worth it, going to return it. I'm going to just leave it on the rest of the day and then I'll show you tonight before I wash my face how it's looking and I'll let you know how it feels and stuff. But that's really, really pretty. Anyway, I want to tell you how the laser treatment went. It was really quick. I was in and out of there in like maybe 30 minutes. Honestly, the longest part of it was sitting with the numbing cream on. So she just applied like a topical numbing cream to the areas and I had to just sit there with that on for like 10 minutes or so. And then the actual laser treatment itself, I didn't get any clips of it because obviously I can't show her doing it because of the area it's getting done on. If you were to get like shocked, you know, by like 
an outlet or something. Like just that little like weird like zap feeling. It literally was like that. It's not, it's different from like a traditional old school laser or like an IPL laser or like a laser hair removal type of laser. It's not like snapping and zapping at the skin. It's like done with a frequency. It's not hot or anything. It's literally just feels like a little shock. Obviously I, I did feel it. I'm not gonna say like, oh, it was totally painless. It was like uncomfortable, but we were talking through it the whole time. And honestly, it was so quick. I don't think she was doing it for honestly more than like maybe five to 10 minutes tops. It was so quick. It was more of just like an annoying, uncomfortable feeling. Like I just kind of wanted to like swat her off like, ugh, stop. But I have no hesitation going and doing it again. And she said that there's no downtime. She said it's just gonna feel kind of hot and like a sunburn for a few hours. And I mean, at this point, it's been an hour since I left there and I feel fine. I don't feel uncomfortable at all. Like I feel no irritation. She said that I have to wait at least four weeks before my next treatment. So we scheduled that for five weeks from today. And she said it could take three to four sessions to like fully get the results that I'm looking for. Pricing wise, Obviously, it's going to depend on the size of the area you're getting done and who you're going to, where you live, all of that. But she charged me a hundred bucks. I have to get a little bit of work done. I'll check back in with you later and I'll give you an update on how I'm liking this Ilya stuff. It's a few hours later, I just made dinner. Oh my God, I'm so excited, it smells so good. I made that chicken sausage that I got earlier. I just cut it up into some chunks and just sauteed it in a pan, made some jasmine rice and then roasted Brussels sprouts. I've been putting this sweet chili sauce, also from Trader Joe's, on top. Just drizzle some olive oil, salt, pepper, the chili sauce, put it in the air fryer for like 10 to 15 minutes, bomb. My friend is trying to FaceTime me, so I am gonna go chat while I eat. Also, I put on my robe because I was getting kind of chilly. Are we all here? Yeah. Okay. So, just a little fun update. I just got with Okay, it is now, oh, this lighting, not good. There we go. It's now seven o'clock. The sun has officially gone down. I made myself some chamomile tea. I wanted to show you how the skin tint looks. Um, obviously, I didn't have it on for a full day, but it's been like at least five hours and it still feels really good. Like I don't feel like I have anything on my skin. It did rub off a little bit on my nose because I blew my nose earlier. I am definitely going to wear it again tomorrow and I'm gonna spot conceal with concealer, like the little areas where I have like extra redness and dark spots. And then I'm gonna put it on top of that and see if I can get like an even smoother base and I'm gonna wear it all day. And I will report back to you guys. So stay tuned for my next vlog. I'm gonna end this one here so that I can edit it and get it up in the morning. Oh, and also update on the laser areas I got lasered. I still have not felt like any kind of hotness or burning or irritation or anything. Like she said that it might feel like I got a sunburn and I don't feel that. Like I honestly keep forgetting that I even got the treatment done at all. So that's good, because I was a little bit nervous about that, that I was gonna be uncomfortable for the rest of the day. That's another thing that I'll continue to update you guys on in future vlogs. So make sure that you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on so you don't miss my future uploads. And I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.